we all know about the assisted reproductive techniques, the most popular of them being IVF. IVF simply translates to fertilization outside the body in test tubes. This baby-making method was made popular after the birth of Louise Brown in Oldham, England in 1978. 44 years later, millions of babies have been birthed through this method. Fast forward to today, another kind of assisted reproduction is on the rise and gaining grounds in Ghana. Third-party reproductive procedures. This involves sperm and egg donations. If you are short of blood, you are bleeding from something, you go to hospital, you need blood, we have blood donation program. So we have egg donation, we have sperm donation. Dr. Kinakulabi has been into fertility medicine over the past three decades and says sperm donation as well as egg donation is on the rise in Ghana. We can't create the egg itself and now it's not there and any egg will do. It doesn't matter it's a white man's egg entering the black body, you know, it's, it, it will do. I have a list of 26 and more than half, if I can count, more than half are for gamin donation. Though the process of egg donation is much more complicated, Dr. Labi says more and more women are willing to donate eggs. Let's start with the egg donation. It's common out there. It's common out there. And uh, they go through IVF. Some people have gone through IVF. That is getting eggs from them, self, we call them self. They get the IVF, they get, we stimulate them to produce a lot of eggs, and put them in a plate, a petri dish. It used to be the test tube, but now it's a plate, small plate, called a petri dish. You put, uh, then we try to sort out the eggs one by one. Curtis Jackson, not his real name, has been donating sperm to help couples struggling to conceive. He tells me what led him to begin donating sperm. I had a couple of friends in the university and um, I, want, I wanted to know how they got their money and stuff because they always look good and okay, so they introduced me to them. Well, I donate every week, so let's say every week, 2,500 Ghana cities a week. Well, as long as we have surrogative mothers, I think sperm donation is real as hell. So, some also, not the fact that some need children or something, but, and not the fact that I also need the money as well, I think I'm helping the society. The financial advantage is more than enough motivation for him. Well, I'm doing God's work because I think he said we should fill the earth, and I feel it for people with the less, a lot people who don't have children and stuff, so sometimes I feel like I also have to do something to help. That's what heroes do. They always put other people's needs before them. So I'm not saying I'm a hero, though, but I feel, I feel like doing it. Well, all hope is not lost for couples who are unable to conceive naturally as the demand for sperm and egg donation is on the rise. However, there is no legal framework in Ghana governing these processes. Fertility experts here rely solely on international society framework. Well, following its search, isn't it time legislation is put in place to govern this unorthodox childbearing method to protect both donors and couples battling infertility? For TV3 News, Imano Samani.